Hi, and welcome to the Market Alert for Friday, the 19th of May 2023. Let's get on, have a look at the headlines, and then work our way through uh, the markets. And uh, we're starting off with uh, hawkish uh, Fed speak seems to be back, uh, which battered bonds and uh, the metals, well, particularly gold yesterday, silver survived it uh, a bit better than it has uh, of late. Dollar and yield saw on strong data and more hawkish Fed speak ahead of Powell. He's going to be speaking today. We'll look at that in just a moment. US uh, stocks uh, extended on gains and the S&P printed a nine month uh, high on uh, debt ceiling optimism. We got that again and firm data. We know they're going to raise it. I mean, you know, all of this uh, rumor mill, but there you go, that's how it works. Anyway, economic news. Uh, Powell speaking at 4 p.m. today. He's going to be at, uh, according to this, he's due to participate in a panel uh, discussion titled Perspectives on Monetary Policy. Or oh, he may learn something there then at the Thomas Laubach uh, Research Conference Center in uh, Washington, D.C. OK, let's move on and have a look at the markets. We'll kick off uh, with the Dow. So in the Dow yesterday, we see the market uh, moving higher. A bit of... Um, supply coming into the market as it moved higher. No surprise really as it made its way through uh, three uh, averages here. You've got the 5, the 20 and uh, sorry the 50 and the 20 bar moving average trading up to 78% of retracement and as you move higher you have to absorb the sell orders that come into the market if you want to move prices uh, to the upside and that's what this is indicating here. It can also indicate that there is uh, selling coming into the market as well as they move prices higher, then sell into it, and then you see the market reverse. But as you're driving through these areas, it tends to be an absorption of uh, the selling coming into the market. In the 30-minute chart uh, yesterday, we were very quiet uh, to begin with. Uh, we moved up in the pre-market session 100 points, and then down into uh, the support of the 200 MA, the DP, uh, that can be seen there under the BRN just before we kicked off with the Dow and then uh, off we went. You can see a huge spike in volume which you always get at the open and then you can see the buying bars there with the green and then we had some selling coming into the market. They tried to hold it at the close with some uh, demand, uh, the market failing there but uh, trading down to the DP and then eventually making its way back and guess what? Before the close we have the strong rally to the upside and you can see prices trading there uh, up to uh, uh, this level here at uh, 33.615 yesterday's high. That's uh, the one that will need to take out today and no doubt uh, Powell will assist with this uh, from 4 p.m. In the implied volatility which we've not looked at all week because nothing's really happened but now you can see that we're back down into these lows when we got down to 12.29. We had a bit of a retracement there and then uh, we had another one when it was preempted here at 12.44. They've seen the market come down and now we're trying to rally back and we're back down into these lows. So again, uh, once we've got uh, to the uh, 16,298 in the DAX, which we'll look at in just a moment, I suspect, uh, and Powell's got his uh, speech over and done with, we should see a bit more of a down move uh, through next week, I would have thought. I haven't looked at next week's economic data yet, but I suspect uh, we're getting close to CPI non-farm payroll uh, data once more. So let's have a look at the DAX. Uh, like I say, the implied volatility indicating now once more that uh, over the next uh, few days, etc., you could see another potential correction, which we was already preempted for. Nothing major. But uh, we've seen them here. So an interesting thing with this Dow, just before we move on, is uh, it's struggling to move to the upside, unlike uh, the other stock markets. OK, let's move on and have a look at the DAX. So German DAX, I'm kicking off with the monthly chart again, as we've been looking at for the last few weeks. So in yesterday, I highlighted the 16,298 area, 16,300. Don't be surprised if this gets taken out uh, this morning. When the market opens and they'll run it up to it, then it will uh, likely run out of steam. Uh, so watch this carefully. Yesterday's daily chart, you can see the buying there, green, moving the market up. There's uh, some resistance to the left there, and I suspect that that is the 298 level. It is indeed. Um, so watch that. So go down to the 30-minute chart and see what happened. This 
uh, luminous green line, as I mentioned in yesterday's market alert, is the 16,298. Yesterday morning, we came off the high. I mean, the market opened. I mean, the DAX was closed. Perfect opportunity when just you've got the electronic session. The market uh, just absolutely blistered to the upside. I thought we were going to do it yesterday, but uh, we got close, but uh, didn't uh, in the end. The Dow opened. We had the shakeout. We've got demand. We sold off. We got the crossover. We moved the market back up. And this is yesterday's high at 16,259. We're not far off now. We've got a bit of a down move overnight, but I'm not too concerned about this. If we stop at uh, 16,200, this level here, we could have a bit of a run up to uh, this uh, line here. 16,300 is the way to remember it, but 16,298 is the uh, all time high. Once you get through the all time high with the backdrop of what's going on, I'd be very surprised if the market would maintain that momentum. The goal has been to get the market back to the all time highs from October, uh, from Liz Truss's time in office to where we are now so uh, it will be a very interesting day if we do manage to do this and i'll be surprised if we don't but then it wouldn't be the first time that the market's actually uh, done a straight reversal off uh, a big move to the upside and then had to come back at later on to actually do it so we'll just trade what we see as it actually unfolds and speaking of trading uh, yesterday's trades uh, 215.50 uh, 5.44 on the profit factor and a 70 30 win loss ratio and for the week that takes us to 800 pounds and 50 pence 239 and the win loss uh, there is uh, 56 against uh, 44 back to the five minute charts uh, which i've missed so let's have a look see what's happening you can see we traded up to yesterday's high and uh, some selling's coming overnight, so the market uh, struggling there a bit. However, if we go from there to there, you'll see we're at 78% retracement. We've got 89 just below, so there is support there because this is where the market took off before. And also note uh, the demand and also the 50 EMA there. So there could be a bit of support uh, around this level to move prices back to the high, and like I say, onto the uh, 16,300 or 298. So yesterday, uh, as you can be seen here, we took off. It was just like a rocket. We'd already got the 89%. We got the 200 MA, we've got the BRN, and uh, we just needed to drive through the high. You've got to get through the high. You want to do it with a uh, huge volume. That's what they did. And they drove through and then they maintained this all the way up. It just stayed that way for uh, 100, 230 points. And then the market uh, had a break. Uh, interestingly enough, when I was watching the market uh, at this time here, um, we came back to, uh, let me just redo that because I can't see the numbers. That would help, wouldn't it? Um, let me just get rid of that. There we go. And do that. Right, so from here down to here, you'll see that uh, we went through uh, the 89, uh, just traded up just through it, so creating more or less a double top actually. Let me just put that in, just, just, just see if we traded a double top here. Yeah, we were just went snuck through there, and then uh, we came back, and then it uh, moved uh, lower. Um, again, I was expecting, never have an expectation, but because of uh, the importance of that 16,300, I was expecting the market to given it was quiet as well because only 12.35 couple of hours before the Dow that they would just run it up to there but uh, that wasn't to be the case the market drops uh, 100 plus points then the Dow opened uh, the market moved down with that for the first half an hour which you can see there then we get the volume coming in and then we just made our way back and then in the evening on the electronic session you can see uh, exactly what happened following the Dow plunge protection team moving the market to the upside there in the S&P 500, also blowing through the 4,187 resistance and uh, the 4,171, 89% retracement uh, that was blocking uh, the up move yesterday as well, drove straight through this. Uh, surprised by the volume uh, not being uh, bigger than this, but it is tick volume and not um, contract volume, which is slightly different, of course. 
the 30 minute chart uh, moved up in the morning came back with the Dow on the cash market when it opened in the S&P and then uh, moved up and then you can see the move before the close massive move before the close yesterday's high we're still hovering around uh, this got support of the 20 bar moving average at the moment so we could take this out and continue to the upside there let's just have a look at um, a monthly chart we're a long way off the all-time highs in the S&P as we are in uh, the Dow in the FTSE 100 uh, yesterday a bit of a move to the upside just a small reversal trading up to 62 percent retracement the golden ratio we need to take out uh, the 78 and 89 and this uh, high here as well which is uh, no doubt given the market a bit of grief because uh, we know it has because it sold there for over a day uh, so 7807 uh, uh, is an area that needs to be taken out and in the 30 minute chart we moved up with the DAX yesterday morning we had a lovely 89 percent retracement we traded all the way down following this uh, we had a bounce at the DP but as soon as we closed back below the close and the averages there we saw the market moving lower so we uh, had another low we had sort of three lows there and then uh, we saw the market follow the down on the electronic uh, trading session there and in the currencies uh, the uh, GBP JPY is struggling at the moment it's got a uh, double top here more or less I'll just draw that in for you so you can see there we're just uh, below it and uh, in the 89% uh, retracement uh, area from here to here as you can see it's just coming back below this level at the moment so a bit of weakness there after a decent move in the week uh, we've got a full 100% retracement there yesterday morning before moving up and then we come back to the close we get the demand and oversold and then we move up 89 and then we get 89 inside of there before moving down overnight so watch this uh, s1 level very important level there for gbp usd and in the us dollar continuing to move higher yesterday and uh, also uh, overnight uh, no surprise really as the headline stated there hawkish comments uh, from uh, Powell they'll be looking for more of that today as well what do you mean by this is that he's going to continue to raise rates when everybody was looking for a pivot uh, he's going to continue and that's bullish for the currency and in the metals uh, silver uh, continuing to be moved to lower yesterday once more lower highs for all week as uh, we can see there will we break yesterday's high today I don't know but we traded down to 7889 and if we do get a bit of a rally if the hawkishness continues then we'll see this market move lower 30 minute charts uh, also uh, down a bit of a rally yesterday to the uh, 20 bar moving average then the news at lunchtime and then we see the buying come back in at s2 oversold uh, moving up a bit of a sell-off last night and uh, also picked up and moved back to the upside why was it picked up let's just have a look um, we'll see uh, from here we traded back to the golden ratio of 62 uh, the buying coming in moving prices back to the upside there's the high of yesterday like I say it'll be the first time it will have broken the previous day's uh, high which again hasn't been broken uh, during uh, the week so that high very important today 23.77 but it's got the 200 MA there as well depends what Powell says at 4 p.m and uh, gold also uh, moving lower yesterday probably more than uh, silver percentage wise looking at this we traded down to uh, 89 1950 and uh, finding a bit of support overnight for this market as well there's the uh, sell-off so yeah definitely a bit a lot more dramatic than silver unusual but like i say central banks want cheaper gold to hoard so no surprise there 89 percent retracement 78 89 market moving up overnight nowhere near the previous day's high unlike silvers but let's have a look at the gold silver ratio see how that's uh, been interpreted uh, during the last 24 hours and in the gold silver ratio yes uh, without a doubt uh, you can see exactly what's happening there whoops gone too far let's bring it back uh, you can see that uh, it's starting to move its way back down which is unusual i have to say uh, this isn't normally the case uh, because uh, they love to hammer silver more so than gold uh, but uh, yesterday is an exception there and also uh, what's important we just uh, go back to uh, the dollar making a significant move yesterday 
and then back to the metals look at uh, uh, silver it wasn't actually one of these bars where they actually took advantage and they could have quite easily have uh, crushed this yesterday and moved it significantly lower so there uh, seems to be some support coming back into uh, the silver market at the moment so maybe my uh, uh, 20 dollar target is way off uh, off the mark at uh, the moment but you never know you never know with uh, with these markets uh, what's going on uh, internally until uh, it's revealed okay that will uh, do it for this one and for the week have a great weekend and uh, let's see what Powell has to say at 4 p.m and also keep an eye on that uh, 16,000 uh, 298 level in the German DAX and watch the market's reaction if it uh, does get to that level today. Okay, that's it uh, from me. As ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Mm -hmm.